Hello everybody, my name is Petunia and welcome back to LPS 101. So since this is my first video, I'm going to explain what LPS 101 is. So pretty much it's just kind of like these informational videos where we show you how to do pretty much anything. I'm going to do some DIYs, show you how to wash LPS, how to organize them, and all sorts of stuff that you might want to know. And today I'm going to show you how to organize LPS. So you don't have to organize them this way, but this is the way I have found the most easiest, and I will tell you a few different ways too. So a lot of people organize them by like different breeds, like they'll put dogs in one box and cats in another box, which I think is really easy if you want to make like certain videos. And some people do all their boy LPS in one box and all of their girl LPS in one box, which makes it a lot easier to find the boy LPS and the girl LPS. So I think that is an easy way too, and now I'm going to show you how I do it. Okay, so right here I have this shoe box right here, which is pretty much just where I keep all of my LPS. I just put them all in one big shoe box. And now I have this carrying case here, which is good if you want to take your LPS to certain places. I always put the LPS that I want to trade in here, so if I want to go somewhere where I'm going to trade them, then I want to put them somewhere that I'm going to bring them with me. And I have all of my characters from LPS Jeopardy here. See, I have Martha, who's in LPS Jeopardy, because if you have watched it, I have it filmed in two different locations, so sometimes I like to bring them with me to film in two different locations. And then also, this is a good spot if you want to put LPS that you don't want to get damaged, since they can have their own little compartment here. Right here, I put my fuzzy one right here. And I put most of my fuzzy ones in here. And right here, I keep all of my bigger accessories and sets in this big box here. And in this smaller box is where I keep all of my smaller accessories. And then I keep this really big set right here. And then I also keep my, the custom OPS that I have in this box here so they don't get damaged. Okay, so that is how I organize my LPS, and I have found that just trying a lot of different things really helps because before I kept my LPS in a smaller box, and then I put my accessories in the shoe box with the LPS, and then I switched to putting them into a smaller box, and so I've tried a lot of different things, and if you don't know how to organize your LPS, you should just try a lot of different things until you find something that you like because there's a lot of different ways that you can do it.